Hello and welcome to Camera Reviews. Circa Lisa Continent. Now, I do apologise I've got the name wrong because I've known about her work for such a long time. I've met her a couple of times in the northeast. She doesn't know me, but I love her work and I've never been able to pronounce her name properly. So I do apologise. I hope that Circa Lisa Continent is about right. So no disrespect. Fabulous photographer. I have this book, and I've had this book for a long time. I'd just been to the, um, the, the About the North exhibition at the side where I saw a lot of this work, of her work, on there with Mick Critchlow and Simon Roberts and a lot of other um, photographers who've shot in the North. And um, I, I sort of come across this in my bookshelf the other day, and I just wondered if it was of any importance. It, it's probably very, it's an original because I've had it quite a long time. Because I come from the northeast, it, it, I, I picked it up somewhere at the side, or I've picked it up somewhere many, many years ago. And um, I just thought it was worth a quick insight and a quick look. It's a standard square format, eight by eight inches. And it was part of the Northern Art, Northern Gasboard Fellow in Creative Photography. And I'm gonna talk my way through as much of it as I can because I think it's a lovely insight and I will put a link for her website on the side gallery as well, so you can um, check out more of her work. She's a very good photographer. So the Northern Arts Fellowship, Gasboard Fellow and Creative Photography. This exhibition is compiled from the work I've done during these last two years at Northern Arts, Northern Gasboard Fellow and Creative Photography. I presume this is a catalogue to, or a little publication towards the exhibition. The fellowship encouraged me to take my photography into a new direction, it enabled me to make more mistakes than I would have ever dared without it, and I feel I've learned from them. Honestly, that is some of the best advice you can give a photographer. Make mistakes and learn, it is absolutely correct. Many thanks to my sponsors and also to Amber Associates and Dutty. 1974, that's quite a while, isn't it? I was such a window gazer that I came to England, so this is, this is her words. Perhaps the finished shop window would reveal to you something about the Finnish mentality. The English shop windows certainly give me a curious insight into the workings of the English mind. So, Zerka's gone from Finland to uh, the northeast of England, and in, I would presume, in the 60s, 70s, and for whatever reason, and I think it must have been a really strange world for her, and she's done the greatest thing she could have done is picked up a camera and started documenting it. She's obviously come with a curious mind and a very good idea of how to take good pictures as well because she's proved some, to shoot some amazing stuff around the time. So her work was a multimedia um, installation at the, uh, um, the About the North exhibition at the Side Gallery. It's, sadly, it's taken down, but I did cover it on one of my videos. So if you go through the, crypt, the, the camera... Um, videos and look for the side gallery you can have a look at some of her work there as installations and there was a feature a selection downstairs of her work um, in, in black and white photography some of the stuff in here I remember this being at the about the North exhibition so here's just a little bit her, her talking about um, about you know her, her, her thoughts photographers have always been fascinated by shop windows Man on the sand in a Sunday best, uh, reading the lady hooded and hunched on her deck chair. Um, and the sun shines, it should never over South Shields Beach, you know it well. So these are just extracts which had no relation to the pictures I'm looking at, but okay. Maybe they have, okay. There's a, a guy with a pit bull, it's so scary, I'd be, I'd be running a mile if I saw that. There's two dog shots, both verticals. And back to the beach, a little girl in a pie box samples the sand. Outside Frankie's Ritz restaurant, fish and chips queue begins to grow. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Let's just drop this down a little bit so we can get a better, better look at these. Look at that. Standing on top of Biker Hill, John Wesley exclaimed of the breathtaking panorama beneath his feet. A vision of paradise, presumably in 1790, 
it actually excluded Biker, since Biker then was just a village well behind his back. The vision of paradise was the city of Newcastle down in the valley. Okay, very interesting. But being a Sunderland boy, um, my, I've got a different vision of paradise. But nevertheless, beautiful pictures. And I'll bring this one in as well. I think having it in this format gives you a much easier insight into these fantastically beautiful pictures. Um, I presume going by the, this is the waiting room of this place. You can see the similar decor, beautiful light coming through, lovely available light. Let's go to that one. I know this area, and this shot here inspired one of my shots with my pigeon men. And it, it sort of, I remember my cheetah, who actually probably does know um, Checker, is that there was a guy called John Kippen. And I've mentioned John before in some of my, um, in my camera reviews. And I remember doing a series of shots from something. And one thing, one John, what I did was I shot a lot of people um, outside and he and, and people inside. So it was like I shot a whole load of people outside a building and then I shot a whole load of people inside a building. And then John said to me something like, have you tried from looking out to in and looking in out? And that made perfect sense to me. And I, and I see the relationship between being in somewhere and looking out and looking out coming in so like in, in a sense this is looking out outside looking in and this is looking inside looking out and it was great advice now I actually started to shoot a lot like that I was taking notice of this wall and the divide in rooms and what was going on on this divide and how people would would interact by looking out through this window and looking the other way around as well it was intriguing I've always been fascinated by allotment sites. There's it's, it's some amazing allotment sites in the northeast. Still very much a part of the landscape up there. I'm going to just lift this back up a little bit to give you. Isn't that beautiful? It's such a beautiful. It looks amazing in this screen. Absolutely amazing. It looks amazing just having it. I feel really privileged to have this. One, two, three, cha-cha-cha. One, two, three, cha-cha-cha. The music and the chant pour out of the open window with the plastic curtains onto Saturday morning of Willington Quay. I know Willington Quay. The passers-by on Buick Road glance up to the odd yellow sign of, of a dancing pair. Brilliant. A Bella's dance studio. Oh, look at that. I tried to work that out. Is that, a, is that a bit of trickery? Let's come down on that. Bit of trickery, maybe. Bit of post-production in the print. Who, it doesn't matter if there is. It's a really dynamic um, shot. So let's lift this slightly. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 pages of a beautiful um, piece of work by Circa Lisa Continent. Anybody can tell me anything about this? I presume that this is some of her really early stuff. I know she was shooting before that, um, but I, I just feel really um, privileged that I've got this in my, in my collection. And more so the fact that I've just been up to see it, not realizing I had this. Well, I've been up to see the Great North Exhibition, not realizing I had this sitting in my my um, my bookshelf. Anyway, beautiful piece of work. If I get some more of her work, I will put it on. Thank you. <laughs>